taking on the big shots and working hard to get you answers. Eight on your side, Mark Douglas investigates. A family in Lithia has been marooned on their own land for weeks <laughs> due to road flooding, and they insist Hillsborough County is responsible. Take a look for yourself here. No matter who's to blame, it is a mucky situation for the Conway family. They live in several homes along a private road that is now a quagmire of mud and water because of misdirected drainage. So we sent News Channel 8 investigator Mark Douglas out to find the get to the bottom of this boggy boondock. We were out there today, Stacy. What a mess. And it's been that way for weeks. It all started with clogged county ditches along nearby Lithia Pinecrest Road. This has got to be beyond frustrating for you. This is a nightmare. Welcome to Conway Estates Way. Weeks of rain has made driving down this family owned private road impossible to do in all the mud and water, even for all terrain trucks. It's four wheel drive. It was stuck up to the frame in mud. Just walking in and out to Lithia Pinecrest Road is a real challenge, especially for the family's patriarch. I got COPD, I've had a heart attack, I've got a bad liver. Be careful. Tracy Conway says over the past three weeks, her extended family has spent more than $30,000 in a fruitless effort to restore their road with truckloads of dirt and asphalt. They blame Hillsborough County. That's because clogged ditches and crushed culverts along Lithia Pinecrest keep sending stormwater their way. I've been on the phone with them for weeks. Um, it, it was just this morning that one of their supervisors contacted me and finally came out because I told them I was calling you. <laughs> Robert Conway lives in one of the two Conway family homes on this road. Hasn't it always flooded like this? No, never. Never has it flooded like this. And in 38 years I've been here, I've never seen anything like this. An ammonia pipeline running alongside Lithia Pinecrest has kept the county from clearing out the ditches. That's because that takes permission, permits, and coordination with the pipeline company. Meanwhile, this family is stuck. What if you need EMS, sir? What if your house catches fire? We're we done. have, we're, we're done. We have no help. No one can get to us. What would you say to the county right now about this problem? Oh, I couldn't say it on there. <laughs> Tracy Conway says her daughter, who uses a wheelchair, nearly lost her job because she couldn't get out for three weeks to go to work, and now she can't come home. Hillsborough County promises me that work crews will clear those ditches next week. So why did the county wait yeah. until now, Mark? Well, there's some dispute about this, but the county insists that they didn't learn about this until just 11 days ago. The family says they let them know before that. But either way, there's no long-term record of problems in this area. Bottom line is they're going to be out next week after we started making phone calls and we hope they'll fix this problem. See, even with that ammonia pipe now, now that's all cleared. Everybody's well, they'll get the ammonia everybody. pipeline people out yeah. there and they'll watch it and they'll, they'll clear it out. You're right, though. That was a mess. Huh? It is. Thank you, Mark. And if you have a problem you want Mark to investigate, you can call our 8 on your side helpline. There's the telephone number on your screen, 1-800-338-0808.